morning, Nub Nation. Happy Thanksgiving. Today, just got up. I am about to call my mom. See what the deal is. Hope you guys are enjoying your Thanksgiving, living the dream with your family, and uh, all positive things are coming your way. I'm gonna be spending Thanksgiving with my family. Uh, my girlfriend, Jordan, is gonna be spending her Thanksgiving with her family, and then we are gonna intervene later tonight for Black Friday shopping. You know it had to go down. Quick excerpt. I do not have a shoe sponsor. I am considering making shoes. Leave me a comment below if you would be interested in Ben Gravy shoes because these are the sneakers that I rock on a daily basis. Let me know. Would be stoked. Yo! This is the outfit I decided to rock this Thanksgiving. For the dream, because what else would you wear to Thanksgiving dinner except for this outfit. Anyway, the reason I'm wearing this outfit is actually more because I've been stuck in Pennsylvania for about five days. Filmed the show with Snapchat. Filming got cut off early because my older brother got hurt. Compartment syndrome in his calf muscle. He went to the hospital for three days, had to get all these surgeries. Now, Thanksgiving has come up. I'm going to Thanksgiving dinner with my family and I have not had a change of clothes. I've done a little bit of wash, but you know me. Of course, I wore my good pants leading up to Thanksgiving dinner, and now they're dirty because I went skateboarding in them yesterday. Speaking of clothing, I dropped beanies. I only made 120 of these beanies, so they are limited edition. They are Ben Gravy Pineapple Christmas beanies. Every beanie that gets ordered comes with a special gift. There's going to be a Christmas card in there and a limited edition pineapple Christmas pin. So check it out, bengravy.bigcartel.com. The beanies, four different colors, black, gray, pink, and yellow. I'm really excited about them. So huge shout out to RJ over at Delusion Manufacturing for making that happen. And yes, let's get moving. Mom, what's the temperature over there? Inside. We know like, we know Hob likes to keep the heat on like 48 during the winter, so. Marshall, where's your brother? He's getting ready for bed with mom and dad. <laughs> What's the glam, Naomi? She's just happy that she's sitting there with you guys. I mean, that's the life, dude. It having all this information, right? And listen up. Put it together. It doesn't right actually way. think like a human being. You're right, but billions and billions and billions okay. of human beings have been on their phones interfacing with the AI for so long that it can almost think like a human. And what he's saying is Wait, an AI. Whoa, 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 whoa. Listen. You just told me for billions and billions of years. I never said billions of years. How long did you what? say? Billions what did you just years. say? How long have we been communicating? What? What are you talking about? AI can do something that you, it would take 10,000 years for the human race to do in one month. What is that? What? Anything. Like what? Think a thought. They don't think thoughts. Okay, I don't have time to argue because you can't understand it. We've been confused. I don't have to understand This is their point. It technically can't think by itself like a human being. No sh But his point is, but you, but you can't understand this, and that's what he's saying is, we have been collectively humans and computers working simultaneously together. Me have made the choice, and he's saying we shouldn't have done this as humans. We have made the choice to allow AI access our brains, get so much information, not out of one person, out of billions and billions of people. It's called the collective, okay? yes. And that thing's saying that once it determines itself yes. as the individual, the only reason yes. we can't see it thinking now is because we can't compute fast enough as it does. It that thing's gonna be able to think smarter and faster no. than 10 billion people put together because all those okay. brains have gone into one AI. Well, as soon as the artificial... So 15 brains is, is smarter than no. one brain. No. Yes. No, it's not. Okay. Because it's only as smart as it's smart. As soon as it... Elon Musk brains in there. The other guy that just died, Hawking's brains in the AI. Okay? No, no, those no, Those two no, no, brains no. combined? Their information that they... Is way smarter than your brain. They, they put in there is in there. When all those thoughts are thought, then that's it. That's no, the that's end not, of the road. That's not true anymore. Yes, it is. It created... There's only so much there to recreate... Say so you're... No, I'm not... You're, you no, can't no, think outside no. the box because you can't. You don't think that technology will actually be able to progress. A machine past doesn't us. think thoughts by beyond what's in it. By 2050. Yes. Obviously, you'd probably be dead. 
Yes. Maybe me as well. Yes. We will have zero control. Okay. I might not be dead in 2050. Actually, and hopefully you'll see this. Because this is real. The human race is going to be extinct. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. it's just going to be animals anyway, and all computers are going to be shut down. Yeah. A lot to think about, guys, on Thanksgiving. As the fight and the war wages on behind me, you be the judge. AIs going to cause the end of the world, Terminator style. My dad's still going to be alive in 2050. You be the judge. Leave your leave your AI thought in Wait, the comment section below. It's possible. He's claiming 86. Okay, that's how old I'll be. What's your opinion? Is it an AI opinion? End of the world? Terminator status? My dad rules the world by 2050? You be the judge. Leave your opinion in the comment section below. What's his name? It's watch? Yeah. Okay, what's his name? I, I gotta do this right now. You wanna be in it? You ready? Alright, this is how you get Thanksgiving dinner when your mom forgets about you. And you're a vegan. How do you feel about that, Naomi? Pretty good, she says. I didn't forget about you, so that's bull crap. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. You didn't tell me for sure until today you were coming to Thanksgiving. You're... And as soon as you said you were, I told Dad to make sure we get something. And he went out to the store. Do you want squats to hold you? No? Okay. <laughs> what are we getting? What are we getting? No, don't get those chips. Okay, what do you want to get, Miami? Let's get something. I don't know if she can hold that with those gloves. Here, I can. I'll need to hold it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Naomi, great! Hi! Are you a crazy driver? Don't sit up! That did not look fun. Uh oh, she's scared. <laughs> Jesus, thank you very much for having our family get together for this special Thanksgiving, and especially because we just had a really rough week with Robert. Thank you for allowing him to go through two successful surgeries, and thank you for allowing us not to go insane, although that's questionable. Hi, Naomi. Uh, I get to be here with my granddaughter, grandson Marshall, my daughter June, my son Ben, Robert, my daughter-in-law Rachel, my hubby, my best hubby, my best friend. That's you. Daddy. Sasquatch. And uh, hopefully this food will bring nutrients to our body. And gravy's here. Please bless us and please bless all the people in this country that are hungry and all the people in the world that are suffering and help to give some alleviation to that. Our love to Barty up there in heaven. And uh, we couldn't have Turner and G with us, but our hearts feel them, that they're here with us. Thank you, amen. 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 Or pumpkin she's eating. Oh, beautiful. She wants more with cream or she wants pie? Whoa! Oh, yummy! Look what you got now! Bye now! Wow, look at the sun! Yeah! Yeah! Whoa! Yeah. Can I have a hug? No, yeah. Oh, no, yeah. Here, give. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Go! Go, Naomi, go! Okay. <laughs> bye, Marshall. Bye, bye. Let me tell you something right now. Dad's already hurt. Look at Daddy. He's hurt. We can't have you get hurt too, okay? Just be, just be good, okay? We can't have you hurt too. We don't want to go. The, you want to go to the hospital? Yeah. There you go. I have to come in here. Yeah. We don't want to go to the hospital. The hurt show's over. Daddy's already hurt. All right. Thanks, guys. Peace, babe. Love you. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Rachel. Thanks, Naomi. Bye. Thanks, guys. <laughs>
Can I get the... Uh, uh, <laughs> Nation, the nominations are in for the Surfer Magazine Surfer Poll Awards 2018 Best Series, and I have not been nominated. Um, when I first saw the article, I was actually, I'm not going to lie, I was in shock. I personally wrote into Surfer Magazine to request a nomination, and they actually got back to me and they said that they would be considering it. Three years ago, this isn't something that I felt that I deserved. But right now in 2018, the way that surfing stands, I feel as though I do deserve to at least be nominated for a Surfer Poll Award for the best web series. And the reasons are, I started the first surf vlog. I've been working tirelessly for three years to accomplish all the goals that I have set out in front of me. Along the way, I bring immense amounts of positivity to the world through my videos. I bring laughter and joy, and I believe that I bring stoke to the world of surfing. I have never been in the crew. I have never been accepted by Surfer Magazine, Surfing Magazine. I was never even accepted by Eastern Surf Magazine when I was younger. I was never accepted by Garden State Surf Magazine when I was younger. I've never been published in magazines. I've never been given props by any big corporation like that. And that's something that I've had to deal with my whole entire life, knowing that other people are getting the things that I want, the acknowledgement and the press that I was also trying to get. Other people, being my peers in surfing, were accomplishing these goals, and for some reason, I was always left out. And that's something I've lived with. I've never been in the crew, and that's okay. You know, I it molded me into the person that I am today. I am a self-made person, started that way, and I'll probably end that way. That being said, I have made a lot of amazing business relationships and partnerships with my sponsors and my job that I do for them has been very successful and we have created some awesome stuff and I look forward to a bright future in that aspect of surfing. When it comes to the other side of surfing, the magazines, it has always been a tight-knit crew that I'm just not a part of for whatever reason. And I don't know if it comes down to marketing dollars from sponsors. I don't know if it comes down to the fact that I don't surf as well as these other people. I don't know exactly what it comes down to, but I do know one thing. I bring something to the table for surfing. I am not someone who brags or someone who gloats or someone who tries to make a big deal about what I've accomplished. But through my novelty surfing and the way that I've come up in surfing, I have certainly changed the idea and the entire industry, even if it's just a little bit. In my eyes, I'm probably the first self-made surfer that 
turn pro at 30 years old. <laughs> um, probably the first surfer that kind of came out of nowhere at a late age and actually put myself on, you know, a, a platform to be seen by the entire surf industry and with backing from seemingly no one but, but my own self and my own camera. And I just want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for all the love and all of the support that I've been given since I started vlogging. You guys have been amazing. Like the Nub Nation and everybody that watches my videos and the people that I run into, I love you guys. And you guys have created, in my opinion, one of the greatest communities in the world. I don't even wanna say online or on YouTube because I believe it's bigger than that. I think it's bigger than the internet. I think it's bigger than surfing. What we've accomplished is monumental. It has a lot to do with a positive idea that maybe I started, but a lot of people have gravitated to, latched onto, and made it their own. The ideology and, and the stoke that has been created through this vlog is something that nobody could ever create an award for because of the fulfillment that I feel from this job every day of my life and the fulfillment that I get from doing this and interacting with you guys every day of my life. And I am totally okay with the fact that there is no trophy for being the people's champ. I have never expected anything like that. I've never expected any awards along the way. But the simple fact of the matter is, I believe in what I'm doing and I think I've brought a lot to the table and I haven't done it for marketing dollars. I haven't done it because someone told me to do it. I didn't do it to get nominated by the Surfer Poll Awards. But I still believe that I deserve a nomination. With that being said, I kind of rambled on. I don't, I don't know exactly what I talked about, but thank you guys so much. If you want to write Surfer Magazine and tell them that they should nominate me, you can hit them up on Instagram at surfer underscore magazine. Other than that, vote for Jamie O'Brien. I hope he wins it. He deserves it. Um, Jamie is the man. And uh, thank you guys for all the support, all the stoke, and all the love. I love you guys. And uh, let's go across this day. All right, Nub Nation, as we know, it is flat this Thanksgiving, but we do have a swell coming up this weekend. I'm super excited for that. It's going to be four to six feet again, and I'm just straight up stoked because we've been having a lot of waves this year, and I think uh, they're claiming El Nino season on the East Coast. Pretty much means we're going to have winter storms and waves all winter long. I'm really excited for that. It is officially freezing outside. It's 20 degrees out and the water is dropping into the 40s. That means from here on out, I'm probably gonna be rocking five mil gloves, five mil boots, and a 543 wetsuit provided to me by Hyperflex Wetsuit. So thank you guys. Uh, I appreciate that. Hyperflex is the dream. And by the way, if you're interested, you can actually get a Hyperflex wetsuit with a Ben Gravy pineapple logo on the sleeve or on the leg. Uh, you can check that out on their website, hyperflexusa.com. Other than that, I wanted to share with you guys some footage of a couple years ago, the year before I started vlogging, Logging. Me and Rob Kelly went surfing on Thanksgiving and we absolutely scored. At this point in time, I did not surf very much, but I was still going out and filming during swells. So huge thanks to B Colt for coming out and shooting that swell. And we got some really good barrels. So check it out. 